The University of Leicester's reputation in the world of astronomy has been built by people like Mark Lester. What we're really looking for is scatter when you, you have very fast flows in the in the upper atmosphere around about 300 kilometres. His teams become experts at building and using solar observatories like this. However, the program now looks doomed. A year ago, two research councils uh, were, were merged to form the Science and Technology Facilities Council. What has happened is it doesn't have enough money. It could mean an end to Mark's work. And some say Lester's place at the forefront of space research is in jeopardy. We feel very badly treated and potentially the, the knock-on effects long term could be serious. But the problem's not just in Leicester. Alfonso works at the University of Nottingham. This is one of my targets. This is this, this galaxy up here. He was recently granted four nights to use this telescope in Hawaii. But the funding cuts mean the UK stopped paying its subscriptions and Alfonso now won't be able to use it. So this part of the program is pretty much dead in many ways. Lately I've become very much involved on forgetting modesties and becoming one of the leading persons on studying this particular type of objects which is called lenticular galaxies. Um, I may lose that edge internationally. But the university say it's more than just reputations at stake. Postdoctoral researchers, who are the people who really do spend their time 100% doing research, there will just be less of them. Fundamentally, the, the, we have less money to pay them, so we can only employ fewer of them. And it's not just jobs. It could mean fewer students. We're in the process now of interviewing candidates for next year, for places at university next year. And one question which is coming up now quite regularly is they're asking, should I really be getting into a physics-based subject? You know, they've heard all these stories in the news about how the government's cutting its funding for, for science and that physics and astronomy are getting less money. And when at the same time you've got all these other initiatives where the government is desperately trying to get more people to do hard science at university, it would be particularly bizarre if some other action of the government actually ends up driving people away from university.